guys, for this video I'll be reviewing the third round FA Cup match between Swansea City and Arsenal. Okay, so as we all know, last time we played Swansea City was at the Emirates, and it was probably the worst game we've all seen in many years, where Michu scored two goals and they won. This time around though, it was, it was a better result, it wasn't a great result, it was a draw, it was 2-2. We fell behind after Michu came on in the second half and scored basically within seconds of him coming onto the pitch. Then following that, Podolski scored equalised and then Gibbs with an amazing volley. Van Persie like from last year put us ahead 2-1 and then at the death, I think it was in the 87th minute, Danny Graham from close range scored and equalised and was 2-2. And I might as well skip the first half because nothing really happened, it was just boring. Swansea deserved to be ahead, they had a lot of possession, passed the ball around well and created a few genuine chances. We didn't, we were slow on the ball and lethargic and we just didn't have any movement up front. Walcott tried to hold the ball up but he's just not strong enough. Drew was there, he was up front as well with him so he helped out and just balanced our attack out a little bit but it wasn't enough to generate any genuine chances like Swansea did. Second half though, four goals all up, which is pretty decent. At the end there, Koscielny had a couple of really good chances from across. I think one was a header and then one was a, a half volley and he almost scored it. So at the death there, we could have pinched it, but 2-2, now we've got to go and have a rematch at the Emirates. I think going into that game, Swansea would be pretty confident. Michio only played about, what, 30 minutes and he scored a goal. He scored three goals in two games against us, so we've got to keep an eye on him. But on our performance though, first half, get that out of the way, that was slow, that was boring, no creativity at all. Second half, we passed it really quickly, and players were actually making runs. I don't know why we just switch it on like that. I mean, Arsene Wenger obviously said something in the room, but why does he have to do it at halftime? At the start of the game, he obviously does say something before the team's run out. Why don't they listen to him then? Why do they wait until halftime to actually do something? For the first 10 minutes after halftime, we played really well. We were pushing Swansea back and creating a few chances. But then they scored for Michu and we were just, you know, we were just all over the place, really. The defensive errors were just flowing and that's really what led to the Michu goal. I still don't like that it's Mertesacker and Koscielny. Mertesacker and Koscielny is better than Koscielny and Vermaelen, I'll give them that. I said that in my last video that I didn't like that. But I still think Mertesacker and Vermaelen there, that that's the best partnership we can have. Gibbs was great. He's had a few down games in the last couple of weeks. Sanya was pretty good as well. So at the back, it wasn't too bad. It's just positioning and the chemistry between the players. And I mean, there's not a lot of games where Mersak and Koscielny have actually played together this season. So I'll give him a break there. But in the future, hopefully it improves. Up front, first half, no movement, no creativity, like I said. No connecting between the players. But when Podolski came on though in the second half, it all changed. He got into it, he got the players running, created a few chances, and really did help us to pinch the draw. He did score, and he had a few other chances that he could have taken. So I think he was the real difference in the end. So good on you, Podolski. He came off the bench and he did something, just like Michu did with Swansea. <laughs> but um, it wasn't a bad result. Rematch going into it, I think we'll have a few new signings. David Villa is strongly linked to Arsenal. I think... We've basically signed him now, which isn't a bad effort. 31 years old, I know. He was very good at Barcelona in, in his early years until he got injured and he hasn't played and hasn't been able to push himself back into the first team. But to get Villa, I think, would be a very handy pickup. He's definitely a classy player that can finish off any, any chance that he gets. And he knows how to play the passing game that we want to play. And he could even bring a few ideas that Barcelona have you know, taught him. So that would be handy as well. Anyway guys, that's it from me. Leave your comments below on the result. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm I'm glad that the team responded from from 1-0 down, the resolve that we that we showed and the fact that we actually hit the front. It's annoying that every time we hit the front we do concede. But Swansea aren't a bad team and last time out we lost to them 2-0. This time we drew with them to all. So it's an improvement and hopefully from there we win in the next FA Cup match against them and we get into the next round because we're pretty far behind in the Premier League, but I'm not I'm not going to give up on the Premier League yet. I know all of you think it's over, the commentators did, but weirder things have happened. We can do it. We just need to hit some form. Man United nearly got knocked down the FA Cup. They weren't great. They pinched a 2-2 draw as well, so it wasn't a bad result when you consider the other results that have occurred as well. But anyway, guys, comment below, tell me what you thought of the game. Like the video. It really does help me out a lot. And subscribe above. Thank you all for subscribing again. 
I've got some new videos out if you haven't seen them. It's my Arsenal career mode. They've been taken off. They've been going pretty well. Please check them out. Please leave a comment. Tell me your, your gamer tag so we can verse online and leave a comment of support and maybe something I can do differently with the game because I'm pretty new to it and I'm just, I'm a bit nervous about it to be fair. So leave a comment, tell me what you think, like them and subscribe as well to get all of them and all my Arsenal reviews. Thank you again and have a good week.